welcome back to another video if you're new here you are welcome my name is natia on today's video i'm going to be making a hairspray uh, overnight hairspray that can really help you to grow your hair really nice if you are suffering from hair loss hair thinning and alopecia and if you know that your hair is not growing and you just want to try something new for your hair this ingredient today will really help you to grow your hair very healthy way but you all know that you have to be consistent so basically i will be listing all the ingredients that i use in the description box my first ingredient was actually ginger ginger is great for hair when it comes to treating your scalp and strengthening your hair and improve a lot of volumes to your hair my next ingredient was was a rosemary uh, fresh rosemary and wish you all know that rosemary is also very very great for hair if your hair is not growing and if your hair is very thin i would recommend that you use rosemary for your hair spray a lot and then i went ahead to add star anise star anise is also very great for hair as well and also onion uh skin if you guys are if you guys don't like to be using onions for your hair a lot which onion is really packed with a lot of nutrients when it comes to growing your hair you can obviously just be using onion skin onion skin or skin or yeah onion skin is really great as well it can really you have a lot of nutrients when it comes to growing your hair and the good part about it is it doesn't smell if you add it to any other ingredient so it's really not going to be smelling on your hair <laughs> that's one thing i really like about onion skin so if you know that you don't want to be using onion for your hair you can just be going for onion skin instead so after that go ahead and cook all these ingredients together in a pot and add enough water for it to cook and um sure of course your tea will be ready and you can transfer it into your spray bottle and you can be spraying it on your hair every other day or if you don't like to if you really don't want your hair to be growing really fast you can spray it on your hair like three times in a week so basically i do spray it on my hair every three times in a week and i would just use the oil my normal oil to seal it on the mo moisture and um, just massage your scalp and then you can leave your hair to rest as you guys can see this is the protective style that i've been having for my hair now for like let me just say a year <laughs> this is the protective style that i always like to to this is the protective style that i've been doing so if you guys have a braid you can use this hairspray for your hair and you're not going to have any smell any bad smell at all because ginger doesn't smell like that so ginger actually have it, its own smell but it's really not like garlic or onion and the other good part is that the onion skin does not really give you any smell for your for this with this liquid so you don't have to be worried about anything so if you have a braid or you have a twist or you have any hairstyle that you have which is maybe with wig it's going to be a little bit difficult so you can still be using this liquid to be uh, for your hair like three times in a week to so massage your scalp the way i'm just doing right now so try and massage your scalp and after two weeks you can rinse it out or you can just wash your hair like this if you don't want to take down your braid you literally can just wash your hair like this with a braid and you can still be still be spraying the liquid on your root so using all these natural ingredients, you all know that can really help you to grow your hair. You just have to be consistent and you have to know how to manipulate your hair. As you guys can see this moment right now, my hair, it was on twist. And even before I braided the hair, I already combed everything. And But still, if my hair stays for more than three or four days in a braid or a twist, it can actually just stick together again. If you guys have this type of hair, 4C hair is really not easy to maintain, to be honest. I have learned a lot with my hair. My hair can really stick together in one minute. Like, <laughs> it can literally stick together. <laughs> That's the reason why before, like back in the day, I always think my hair was not growing. It's just that I didn't know how to manipulate the hair. So I went ahead to buy a lot of combs just to be combing my hair. As you guys can see, I do have a lot of combs, guys. Okay, when it comes to um my type of hair i try to change combs every single time but unfortunately 
all these combs i think it's only two of them that works for my hair the rest is not working if i use those combs for my hair i'm gonna end up breaking out my hair and just you know damaging my hair so this one that i'm using right now is the one that really works for my hair and what i always do first i have to use my finger detangling and spray more liquids and use some more conditioner on my hair and then i can go gently with a comb like this to take out all this um you know tangles that i have inside otherwise guys if i go too rough with this with the comb as well i will end up pulling out my hair yes you guys can see i already combed it i've used finger detangling but i'm still having all this you know squeezing hair i like sometimes i'm just so mad at my hair but sometimes i'll be like why why can't you just be so soft and easy with all the products i haven't actually seen any product that can really soften my hair it's always sometimes hair mask a lot of hair mask all the diy's hair mask that i do can help me to soften my hair but if you go ahead and wash them with shampoo and conditioner again they all will just stick together and you have another work to do if you want to braid the hair yeah that's it <laughs> if you have this type of if you have this type of hair this this type of falsy hair that always sticky together that you sometimes you don't even know what to do with the hair let me know in the comment section and also this type of hair they do need a lot of attention yes they actually need a lot of attention they don't want you to be squeezing them they don't want you to be rough with them they just want you to be very very soft and gentle with them whenever you are braiding them or whenever you are doing any protective style with your hair they actually need a lot of attention so if you have this type of hair you have to be gentle with anything that you do with your hair if you go with the wrong comb you're going to end up breaking out all your hair you will be having patches in the middle <laughs> yes that have happens to me so our hair need a lot of attention you have to be careful you have to know how to manipulate the hair you basically need to learn how your hair want you to be treated if you treat the hair so rough you are basically going to pull out a lot of your hair so this is my hair i just went ahead to braid that front for you guys to see and i will be leaving it for the rest of the week again and i will just be spraying my liquid on top and i will just put the hair up like this and i'll be wearing my african wrap and i can be wearing my wig if i want so yeah and you can let your hair breathe so it was in the night and now your time your girl is tired and i just went ahead to wash my face and clean my face and put all my um all my cream on my face guys have you been using vaseline on that eye there oh my god if you have not been using a vaseline on your eye line you are missing something you have to start using it right now vaseline is really great it can really help to moisturize your skin and it can help you with your fine line and it can help you with wrinkles okay so y'all gotta look like a baby girl yes take care of yourself okay you know what i mean so yeah thank you guys so much i hope you enjoy watching today's video in the meantime hope to catch you on my next one much love bye bye